My name is John Miller. I'm the owner and head distiller of Castworks Distilling. Uh, well, we originally started it in 2013, but didn't open doors until mid-2015. First spirit was uh, our gin, uh, and, well, and the apple pie. We released them both at the same time. Yeah, local bars, restaurants, uh, retailers. Um, we did our vodka release and we put that up in uh, Total Wine. We've got full state coverage and we're getting some requests from other states and uh, actually in Europe too. It just depends on the day and what we're doing. Um, it could be uh, putting botanicals together for a uh, uh, run for gin, um, putting everything together to make pie, uh, or if we're distilling that day, it's coming in and making sure the still's loaded, everything's tightened up, get the fire started, um, and then watching it. Watching it go, that's a, usually about a 12 to 14 hour day. Um, during that time, if we have stuff to bottle, we'll bottle it uh, while running a new batch. Um, or since we try to keep up with everything, usually on distilling days, it's sitting and waiting. <laughs> Um, I've got a double gold on the gin, um, a silver on the pie from Denver, Denver International Spirits Competition, and then we've got the uh, Phoenix New Times Best New Distillery last year, which they're not doing this year, but we're, we're in the running for the best distillery in Arizona for Phoenix New Times this year. It's just recognition on um, a lot of what our products taste, or how they taste, um, what people have thought of them. Um, how many restaurants, what kind of restaurants we're in, because we're in like Wrigley Mansion and some pretty high-end restaurants that I can't even afford to eat at. That, that kind of thing, it just shows, shows you that your product tastes good, basically. It shows every, other, other people, shows the public. Uh, for us, it's, it's, it's just about rhythm of, you know, trying to be efficient at, at our processes so that we have consistency um, from bottling to you know making the product to bottling to packaging and selling. So uh, my name is Chris Lavelle. I am the president of Castworks Distilling Company, and I deal with a lot of um, behind-the-scenes bottling, packaging, to sales and marketing, uh, just you know day-to-day -day business. Definitely do what you're passionate about. Um, I've done a lot of different things in my life, and I can tell you that. Um, I've always been looking for the thing that drove me. And so be passionate about what you're doing. If you don't have that, then find something new. Truthfully, the gin and tonic is my favorite, and uh, we have a preferred tonic water. But the apple pie liqueur has always been good. We're doing a barrel rested apple pie liqueur now, and that barrel rested apple pie liqueur stands out by itself. It's very exquisite. It's, really hands down, it's, I call it the granddaddy of uh, desserts in a bottle. Uh, you get the notes of the bourbon with the apple pie and it's just amazing. Um, but the tea gin um, has taken off, great restaurants like Citizen Public House have done wonderful things and we've had other, uh, other creative types do barrel rested uh, drinks with that as well. And so to pick one I would say it's, it would be a real challenge but a gin and tonic would be probably first and foremost because of its flavor. What's my personal favorite? I don't know if I have one. Um, truthfully, I've never been a big fan of vodka, but then we made ours and actually I really, really liked what I made this time, so. Um, I don't know, it just depends on what I want to drink. The, the gin for a Negroni or a, or a gin tonic, the tea gin for a Ramos gin fizz or something, some other kind of special gin cocktails that are out there of uh, Vesper or something like that, French 75. Um, but then taking some of the apple pie, warming it up a little bit and pouring it over ice cream is pretty awesome too.